What's up guys, it's Monster here. Welcome back to another home cooking with Monster. So you know, earlier today, I was sitting around doing what I usually do. When all of the sudden, I eventually googled it and found out this that this condition was called hunger pains. So I thought, why not, while making myself food, do a home cooking with Monkster, and this time do a favorite lunch classic, but with a twist. Yeah. You all know the PB and J, but this time we're gonna be doing the P, comma, PB, and J. I'm sure you're ready for this. Okay, so we're in the fridge already. We're gonna need a few things from here. I think we have jelly. Right? Sure, hope we have jelly. But um, so you know you gotta go through your thing, see what you got in here. So, let's see what we have. So first off, we're going to want to find the jelly. So, where is the jelly? We'll be right back. Okay, we'll get to the jelly in a bit. But, while we're in the fridge, there is one thing that I know we can grab from here. The extra P. In a P, comma, P, B, and J. And that P is pepperoni. Now, I know what you're thinking. Gross. But we'll get to that in a second. Welcome to the cabinet above a counter. So, what do we need in here? Well, this, it turns out, is where we keep a squeeze bottle of grape jelly. Why are you asking me? But, this is also where we keep, um, we don't need the... Black pepper. Don't need this. Don't need the Minecraft chicken. Don't need this. But what we do have is this giant thing. Friggin' Peter Pan. Peanut butter. Oh, hey, behind there is some Hershey shell. What are you looking at? Okay, so. Next, we're gonna need some bread. In this bag you're in is an amazing piece of equipment that we'll need. It's bread. Now, the bread we have today, a special guest, if you will, but we have special guests, is a wheat sandwich, um, wheat sandwich bread, zero G trans fat, no. No cholesterol food, no artificial loving fresh. It's from Oli. So, you got your bread. It doesn't really matter what type of bread you use. Dang, dang bag! So, it doesn't matter what kind of bread you use. You can use any type of bread. Because bread is universal. Unless you're weird and prefer other breads, so. So we have our bread. Now the bread is an important part of our meal. It's what we put our stuff on. Her P, comma, P, B, and J. And phone. 
so now we have to make it but I already know which question is well not really question but more we have wait okay so it's still got time so I know what you're thinking yeah. well I have a special guest today who will explain to you why wait, do I have See the button lifting this thing? Yeah. I should have checked this. Does peanut butter have an expiration date? I don't think so. No. Okay, so. I have a special guest today who will explain to you his scientific discovery. Who will explain to you, to you how, how this. How peanut butter with pepperoni tastes better. Ladies and gentlemen, meet science, the hobo. Hello there, children. I'm science, the hobo. And um, I'm here to explain to you why peanut butter and pepperoni taste great together. Now, I just need to... I just need to uh, stuff out. Okay, so we have a pen. need to change this angle a little. You understand? Hey. So. You see. Pepperoni. Can't see that thing. So Okay, so here is pepperoni plus peanut butter will equal. Now, here's a picture of a man. Two eyes. Two eyes, unlike my cousin Jimmy. The nose, and he's licking his lips because it's so tasty. You see, enzymes are things that will go into these other things. Do I get paid yet? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. So that was Science to Hobo, showing you how that works. We'll be right back to make that sandwich. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna need to grab us a plate. Any plate's gonna work. So, and then we need to actually open this bread, which is very tricky. So you gotta kind of twist this. And very tricky. So, once you defeat that, then you gotta go in and Got to do, and you gotta flip up that first piece because no one likes that first piece. You get two regular, completely normal pieces of bread. So, then you gotta close the bread again, which is even more difficult. Okay, so, once you do that, I'll need a knife. Again, most of this. So, we'll need a plastic 
classic butter knife. Why are the spoons with the knife? That's where the spoons are supposed to be. Okay, so. You will most likely want to use a classic butter knife, but I mean, I ain't got nothing against the, uh, this knife. But, um, you know, I would guess you wouldn't want to use that. I mean, you could also you could use this one. But, you know, classic butter knife usually works best. So, now, if your jelly is in a jar, you're going to want a spoon as well. So, so you can scoop out the the jelly and the with the spoon and get out the peanut butter with your knife. Okay, so now you're just gonna want to evenly spread this. I mean, phew, like evenly, just spread it like random. Okay, so, yeah, we're almost done with this, so, um, you know, look at that knife, peanut butter still tastes good. Well, I'm saying for your mom to wash later, wash later, so peanut butter back in. Now we get to the funner parts, so we have another piece of bread. We got squeezable, oh, come on, it's not even open. I really should have checked these things before they started the video, but, you know, this is Snake and Monster. Highest quality videos on this side of cancer. So, flip it up. Woo! Mm. See how I did that? Got the knife. Okay, so you're going to want to put this, this, since you opened it, put it in the fridge. Great idea, so everyone knows where it is. So, um, sorry, Mom, I love you. So, then, okay, let's get us a nice spoon. Nice spoons. Just spread this out. You, may, you just want to hit that and drag. Mush and drag. Mush and drag. Mush and drag. Motion, motion, drag, motion, drag, motion, drag, motion, drag. Okay. And then you just lick the spoon. Boom. And now from here you would just fold if you wanted to make a regular peanut butter and jelly. We're going the extra step. So we got pepperoni to add this to this equation. Mm. Yeah, still good. So you're gonna want to place this good. My suggestion is three up. Mm. I just like to have a nice bite of the pepperoni. Uh, a few pepperoni bites as I'm going through. But you don't have to. But, mmm. That was good. Okay, so, then, in the last of the Trinity, and then you, you would just take some and then, you know, maybe cover up some loose spots. <clears throat> then you throw this back in the dungeon of your fridge. That's where you keep things, the dungeon of your fridge. So, now, got this. Now, ooh, it's hanging over. Okay. Okay, so, now we do what I like to call flavor bang. Well, and then you're just going to uh, get that centered and push. Nice and good. So, everything gets real mushed together. Flip it over. All good. And now you're ready to scoop. And now you're ready to consume. Now you see, if you just skip the pepperoni part, you can make your own regular PB&J. 
Now that I want to borrow for recipes that I can go over in another video, but not today. So you see, now you can enjoy your P, your P, comma, P, B, and J. And, but be sure, and be sure that you remember that, hen I'm terrible at this. Uh, so, on a side note, I want to enjoy your sandwich, you can have it just a plain sandwich, or you can, uh, you can also have some milk, and... Or chocolate milk, and if you want chocolate milk, you can go check out a video on that. Yeah. Unless you know how to make chocolate milk, but um, then still watch it, cause we want views. Okay, now I just want to show you. This is the same sandwich. Mm. Real good. Hey, do you remember when we were together? We were profoundly Quiet. unhappy. 